I'm going to do a quick little video on the difference between NPN and PNP transistors, kind of their, their similarities and the, the different circumstances under which you'd use them. They're, they're essentially exactly the same. The difference is that, you know, the sandwich is made up differently. They're semiconductors. I'm going to assume you know a little bit about the way a semiconductor works, but with NPN, there's negative on the outsides and positive on the inside, and with PNP, it's positive on the outside and negative on the inside. The whole principle is the same on both. In both cases, you're trying to get current to flow through your load from power to ground, or again, from power through your load to ground. And as with any transistor, you're trying to get this large load current to flow using a very, very small signal current. They're, they're amplifiers or switches in a lot of ways. So if you have an NPN transistor, you can think of the N and the P as kind of negative and positive. You're going to have current flowing from, from positive to negative conventionally. So when I look at them, I think NPN, so current has to flow from the base to the emitter here. And if you actually have a circuit, here's one that I made up. We have positive current inside this wire here. And I'm using my body as a resistor, so I'm flowing some current through my body, a very, very, very small amount of current, which is coming back in this red wire and into the base of the transistor, which is the middle prong. And that small amount of current that's flowing from the base into the emitter is allowing a large amount of current to flow from the collector out of the emitter. And that the real take-home point here is that I'm using power, I'm using current, positive current to signal this. There's current coming in the base and going out. So it's going from positive to negative. It's a positive current signal that's causing the other current to flow across. It's it's a source. I'm a sourcing sensor right now. If you're going to use a PNP, it works very, very similarly, but we'll put the load downstream and have this sort of diode end upstream. So this can see positive voltage clearly. On this side, it can see negative clearly. On this side, it can see the positive very clearly, straight from positive into the base. And the difference is that instead of using a positive voltage signal, I'm going to use negative. So now I'm activating the collector emitter part of this of the transistor using a ground instead of using power. So I'm a sink. I'm a sinking sensor. Now the other part is you need to have the circuit the other way around. You need to have the load downstream of the resistor, not upstream with an NPN. So I'm going to find myself a PNP transistor, which is right here. It's a 3906. It's very, very similar to the 2222 NPN, but the difference is I'm going to install it the other way around in the circuit. So now the load is downstream, and I'm using a ground signal to source it, or to, to sync. So if I hold this, again, it, it's lighting up, and it's doing the same thing, where current is flowing from the positive down into the base and it's the current flow from here to here which allows current to flow from here to here. If we go back to the NPN you'd see that it's a current flow from here to here which allows current to flow from here to here. So they're very very similar. The only difference is with an NPN you use a sourcing signal which means I'm sending current in and with a PNP I'm using a sinking signal which means I'm sending current down. I'm using a ground to trigger it, or I'm using power to trigger it, and that's that's essentially the only difference. I mean, they're 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 very very similar. They're identical in looks. They do the same thing. They're both just closing switches or amplifying current. The difference is that if you're using a power source to close the switch, you use an NPN, and if you're using a ground signal, zero volts, a reference voltage, you'll use a PNP.